Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I am excited about some new news that just came out. A few months ago, I purchased a Carrier One hotspot. It is pre-TGE, it is serving data, but it has taken a long time, in my opinion, because I am not patient, to finally see something around the tokenomics and what the rewards are gonna look like. While the there's still some things kind of left in the air. There was progress made today. I'm excited to share it with you and give you an opportunity to jump in on this project. Let's dive in. All right, as I was saying, Carrier One posted this yesterday, which was enticing for those of us who've been waiting. And I have been kind of hammering them on their Discord like, when is this going to happen? Am I just serving data for free? So on and so forth. They keep telling me it's going to happen. They keep saying that it's going to happen to be patient and not particularly great at patience. So today they posted the tokenomics. So let's go through this together really quickly. Well, it doesn't have to be particularly quick, but it is important to understand what's happening. So as you serve data with your carrier one hotspot, you will earn the cone token. So this is the breakdown of how the tokens are distributed. So users earn cone by installing and maintaining carrier one deep in devices that provide network coverage, handle data traffic and meet quality of service benchmarks. Cone acts as a governance token, enabling holders to participate in the carrier. And then they're going to have a whole ecosystem for transacting inside of their system. But this is what we care about. So the token supply is what? 300,000, 100 million, 3 billion cone. That seems like a lot, but if you look at it, it's a device rewards pool. These are the people who are hosting hotspots, just like I am, are going to get 40% of that supply, which is 1.2 billion tokens. But that's going to be distributed over 50 years. So not sure what that looks like on a per day basis. One other thing that they have been saying is that people who have been hosting hotspots before TGE will receive an airdrop. We don't know how much it is, how many, if it's going to be cone, I assume it's cone tokens, but we'll see. It's kind of up in the air. Oh, wait, here's the airdrop right there. 8%. So there'll be 240 million tokens dropped with no lock. So when that airdrop lands, you'll be able to cash it out or hang on to it. And let's look at device rewards. Deep in device rewards, carrier users 1.2 billion cone, as we saw, to reward contributors over a 50 year period using an exponentially decaying model. So year one, there will be 40.4 million cone, which is around 3.37 million cone per month. I'll have to trust their math. So how you'll earn is pretty typical with uptime rewards, your traffic rewards, how much throughput you get, coverage expansion, incentives for new and underserved areas, and quality of service bonuses, low latency, high speed, good user feedback. Bounty system. To accelerate strategic network growth, Carrier One operates an on-chain bounty system backed by 50% of each epoch's reward emission. Bounties can target anything from specific GPS coordinates to entire underserved regions. Public bounty dashboards show all open, claimed, expired, and fulfilled bounties for full transparency. And bonding requirements, a small cone bond is required to claim and is refunded upon successful verification. Install the device, register and lock your cone bond. Maintain uptime, follow service, undergo Oracle-based auditing, and if needed, community review. So that'll be interesting to see how that works out. I need to go into the governance. What I want to show you is I have a Carrier One and a Helium Hotspot, both at the same location. Today is, I deployed them both today in this location. They've both been running, but anyway, I improved the location today. And we can see here, as of today, November 5th, we are just under a gigabyte that we've served today. The thing about Carrier One is that it 
for the most part, offloads data for AT&T cellular clients. Right next to it, I have a Helium mobile hotspot, and we can see that it only has served 631 kilobytes of data. That's substantially less, nearly a third less. So now Helium is already on the blockchain. It's already handing out rewards with HNT tokens. Carrier one yet to come still. Let's do a little refresh, see how we're doing here. Yeah, so now we're at one gig. So just in that period of time of recording this video, we've served a lot more data, a lot more active users. Let's go up to 30. I guess like right at 10. So a pretty good location where it is, is at an intersection, essentially. So people are walking by, cars are sitting at a stoplight, and we're offloading data for AT&T. Stay tuned. We will come back and see what the rewards look like once TGE happens and airdrops happen. We'll see. So that being said, I do want to point out to you that you can get these at Helium Deploy. This is the Helium hotspot. Basically, that's how they started this business was deploying Helium hotspots. So the Helium the helium Mobile Wi-Fi indoor hotspot is 249 right now. If you use my coupon code, Ray York, no spaces, R-A-Y-Y-O-R-K, you will get 10% off of that. So you'll save 25 bucks. And then the Carrier One is 290. You'll get $29 off on that one if you use my coupon code. And they're in stock. So you'll have these in a matter of a couple of days, depending on where you are. I believe they have stock in Canada, the U.S., and somewhere in Europe. Sorry, I forgot where the other warehouse is. But you can have it right away. You can start serving data and earning rewards towards the upcoming airdrop. And I believe we'll get some sort of a distribution for what we have already served data-wise. So this was a little bit of a risk to jump on this one early. But it looks like we're close to TGE, close to that airdrop, hopefully by the end of the year, which is what I've heard. But, you know, we just don't know until we know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Are you going to jump on either one of these or both of them? I think there's value in hosting both in each spot where you deploy because they both serve different carriers. So you're going to broaden your cast and give yourself a better chance at serving traffic to, I guess, all four carriers and get rewarded for it. And they're super low power and you probably already have an internet connection where it is. So yeah, I have high hopes for this. I think it's going to be good. And if it is, I have a particularly great location where I'm going to deploy these. Stay tuned to the channel. You'll see more deep in stuff and yeah. All right. Um, I haven't figured out a good tech line to tag out of these videos yet anyway thanks for thanks for watching like comment subscribe hit the bell all the things thanks a lot